Hi everybody, it's your buddy Brad here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make tessellations, or kind of pseudo tessellations, in J Wildfire. And um, here are some example images that I have done using J Wildfire. Here's a solid render. Another solid render. If you'd like to know more information and the math and such behind tessellations, you can check out tessellations.org. And also, you can always check on the wiki, uh, Wikipedia, about what exactly tessellations are more in depth. So one of the easiest ways I have found to make tessellations is if you start with the Mobius N variation and set the power to at least 2. We're going to move it over one space. And then for something simple, create a new vari uh, uh, transform and add line to it. Let me zoom in here. So right now this line is going straight across so we really don't see anything, but if we go to the uh, make it uh, post, rotate it, and as you see, when we move uh, the line to the left at top, it's moving to the right at the bottom. So it's basically mirror mirroring in reverse. Um, the top and the bottom. Now if we go to non-post, take that Mobius end, align and rotate it 90 degrees. <clears throat> go back to line, post. Now I can see how This line is attached to this line, to, that's attached to this line, to attach to this line, which is basically mirroring in four directions. And just by using line, you can come up with some kind of pretty cool uh, repeating tessellation pattern. Also, it helps if you increase the weight of the Mobius N variation. around you can get them all lined up and I find that if you rotate you might have to increase the line to get seamless and if you rotate more I'm increasing it, the uh, triangle. So, there's just some quick, simple adjustments. You can make some pretty cool patterns. And then, of course, you can also use something like N blur.
just this. Here's an, another good example because it takes all four squares and you can tile them, which means that you can also do this in with like a Sapinski tile or, or a, a, a Sapinski uh, carpet. Then you can also do make the edges three. You increase the power of the movie ascend to three. Let's flip this back around. Go back to post. Click on the end blur. You can get a good, nice repeating pattern with a triangle. Then we can even adjust it more. Also, another good variation to try is uh, Lisa Joe's or um, which makes nice lines, or you can use primitives or meshes. Uh, like here in this one, I use the <clears throat> DLA 3D variation. And if we increase the power again, we can make it a nice little nice little grid here with using trying. So uh, give it a try uh, and don't be afraid to try other variations and also try moving around the uh, Mobius SN as a final. You don't want to shrink it or um, enlarge the triangle because then as you see it can get distorted. But you can try rotating. And just give it a try, have fun, and um, if you have questions, please let me know. Till next time, bye.